What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. This is Newbie M51 Bluetooth headset. This is probably the least expensive Bluetooth headset I've ever reviewed. And the reason I decided to check this out is because it has a very impressive set of features that they are claiming to be able to deliver at this price point, which it's gonna be unheard of. For only 20 bucks, you have this nice of a resume. So first, we're gonna go ahead, do an unboxing. I'm gonna share the features. We're gonna do an audio test and give you my final conclusion. So let's check out to see what we have inside the box. Underneath, looks like we have a couple of extra ear tips for different sizes. You have a USB type A to USB type C charger. So right off the bat, I can tell you this thing is very light. Let's do grams. And as you can see, it is very slim, so it's not thick at all. This is a one piece Bluetooth headset. So we saw this thing is very light. Now let's try to take a look at it. It is very thin, as you can see. It does have a gloss finish, so it will show fingerprints. Just be mindful of that. When you open this up, so you're presented with the one piece headset that you have. So this is not a right and left earpiece is only one piece. The focus is mainly on the audio quality for, for talking on the phone. So if you're someone who take a lot of calls on the go or mobile, for example, if you work remotely, work from home, and you take a lot of remote meeting calls, such as Teams or Zooms meeting and whatnot, something like this could be helpful. Or if you're on the go, such as you do a lot of driving, Lyft, Uber, or if you're a truck driver and whatnot, this boom arm, uh, it gives you a mic closer to your mouth and typically that helps with the audio quality as well. When you put this in the case, you will see there is a hidden LCD screen right underneath that shows you how much charge it has. This is at 92% right now. Let's take a look at the device itself, by the way, you can charge the case through USB Type-C, and when you put the earpiece inside the case, it will start charging magnetically. So right now, this is flashing. Looks like it's ready to be paired. So a couple of things you wanna keep in mind. So as you can see, you have a total of four buttons on this headset. Uh, one, I believe this is your mute button, and then you have your volume up and down button, and then you have this multi-action button that you can pick up, hang up, pause, play, and whatnot through this button right here. So let me walk you through the specs of this Bluetooth headset. First things first, this is a Bluetooth 5.2. You can actually connect up to two devices at the same time, so you can have this connected to your laptop and your phone at the same time. We talked about the handy dandy mute button, so you can quickly mute yourself. You don't have to pick up your phone and try to mute yourself. This supposedly gives you between 15 to 20 hours of usage, but if you consider the case, which comes with a 500 milliamp battery, then you have up to a total of 80 hours of usage just between the battery inside the case and the device itself. It has a really cool design with the earpiece. You could have it like this that goes on your right ear, and if you want to switch it, you can pull this up, rotate, and then you swivel this, now this goes on your left ear. It weighs only 16 grams and it offers noise canceling as well. Again, for 20 bucks, this has a lot jam packed into it, both from the design aesthetics and some of the features it offers. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, connect this to my phone, test it and come back and give you my conclusion as well as some sample audio recording using this mic. Okay. so. Let's talk about this headset that I'm wearing. A few things I wanted to discuss. Uh, first, talking about the comfort level and how it wears. As you can see, I do wear glasses, and even with the glasses, it fits fairly nicely. If you remember, I showed you that the ear hook is adjustable. Not only um, you can expand it up and down, but you can also flip it if you wanna put it on your left ear instead of your right ear. Because it's so lightweight, it's not putting any pressure that at least I'm sensing. I've been wearing this for maybe about an hour. I've been trying to test this to try to get a sense for how everything works with multi-device connection and whatnot. And I could tell you, as far as comfort, I have absolutely no concern with this. 
next, I wanted to tell you about the multi-device pairing because it actually is very impressive how easy it was and how seamless it works. And this thing is only 20 bucks. So the way it works is I have my phone here and I have my laptop here. First, you connect the device the way you would normally do to your phone. And then when you wanna to connect to a second device, uh, you would have to turn off the Bluetooth uh, feature on your first device, in this case, my phone. Once I turn it off, it goes into the pairing mode again. Then on my laptop, I was able to see it in the list of devices that I could pair with. Once I connected, then I simply turned the Bluetooth back on and I connected it. Now I'm connected to both devices at once. You may wonder, how does it work? Does the audio interfere? So this is how it works. I was playing Beyonce's new album, the country album she has, and I could hear it just fine. The moment I go on my laptop and I played a YouTube video, it paused this and start playing that. Uh, now, the opposite for some reason didn't work. Um, when I hit play, it didn't necessarily play this one. I had to pause uh, my laptop, but once I paused it, when I play this, it instantly with no hesitation started playing this. And uh, so I thought that was very, very impressive. So comfort, it gets my approval. Uh, the multi-device connection gets my approval and those were very, very fine. Next, let's talk about the uh, sound quality when you're listening to music or content. And then finally, the voice quality when you're making uh, phone calls, for example. So the sound quality, honestly, is what you would expect from a non-Apple AirPod type uh, earpieces, right? You don't get necessarily get a lot of bass, and but for vocals, it's fine and it does get loud. If you're wondering about the audio quality of this mic, this is how the audio sounds using the mic from the M51 headset. So you be the judge of that. Is this something you think is worth getting at only about 20 bucks? Again, it has a lot of different use cases, but nonetheless, this is the audio quality from the mic. So now I'm playing some fairly loud uh, random airport noise. So trying to get a feel to see how well the active noise canceling is trying to remove the background noise. And now this is me talking over that background noise. What do you think? Hello, future me. After I finished shooting this video, I realized I forgot to mention one more really cool feature of this earpiece. And that's the fact that you can also charge this headset directly using a USB type C cable. If this is not handy, let's say you've left this in the car and you're in the office, you need a quick charge. You can just open this tab and then plug the USB type C and you can start charging. Back to the video. And this has been it. Hopefully I had a chance to answer uh, most of the basic questions you may have about this earpiece. And if I missed something, drop a comment down below. As always, I do my best to try to answer every single one of your questions. And if you haven't had a chance to like this video, please do so. That would be the biggest help you can give me and my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.